And now there's a little story I made up years and years and years ago when I was first teaching smocking and nobody could ever remember whether the thread was above the needle or below the needle. How do you remember that? And being a school teacher, as a matter of fact, I think you know I'm a third generation school teacher, I'm always looking for funny, rememberable stories that make things really easy because I love things to be easy. And I made up this crazy cat in the courthouse story, which I think not only I have used, but teachers, smocking teachers around the world have said, Martha, when I tell them your crazy cat in the courthouse story, then smocking becomes easy. So guess what? I'm going to tell you my crazy cat in the courthouse story before we start the smocking stitches. And then I think when we do the stitches, it will be so easy. So I now I'm going to do the cat in the courthouse story for you. Smocking has a lot of stitches which go up and down and up and down. Those are called trellises or waves. Now there's a real trick in knowing where to leave the thread or the cat's tail, whether you take the thread up or above, uh, above or below the needle. This story I think will make it really clear. And if you think yeah, I'm a little crazy doing this story, think how I feel doing it for you. But I promise you, we've used this story so many times, it will make smocking so easy when you start your trellises going up and down. Okay, Tabby is Martha Pullen's cat. Tabby would like to get a driver's license. So Tabby asked Martha Pullen to drive her to the courthouse. So Martha Pullen drives Tabby the cat to the courthouse. Tabby gets out of the car and climbs the stairs to go up the courthouse to get her driver's license. So Tabby begins to climb, now this is the cat, Tabby climbs up the stairs. When Tabby's going up the stairs, which means up on a trellis, where is Tabby's tail? The cat's tail is down when she's going up the stairs. All right, Tabby climbs to the top. <gasps> Tabby forgot to get some money for her driver's license. So Tabby's at the top. What does Tabby have to do? Turn around, okay? So at the top, when Tabby turns around, where is Tabby's tail? Mainly the smocking thread. The tail is up. Now Tabby is ready to go down the stairs. All right, Tabby's coming down the courthouse stairs back to Martha Pullen's car to get some money. When Tabby's coming down the stairs, where is Tabby's tail? It is up as she goes down the stairs. All right, Tabby gets to the bottom, gets the money from Martha Pullen, who's sitting there in the car at the bottom. But before Tabby can go up again, what does Tabby have to do? turn around. So Tabby turns around at the bottom of the stairs. And when Tabby turns around at the bottom, where's her tail? That's right. Her tail is down as she turns around and gets ready to climb up again. Now, the Tabby's tail represents the floss. So when you're moving up, the tail is down. Every time you take a stitch, and I'm going to share with this in more detail later, when you take a stitch to go up, the tail, Tabby said, remember going up, the tail is down, the floss is always down. Get to the top, she forgot her money, turn around at the top, the tail or the embroidery floss is up. Going back down the stairs, where is Tabby's tail? Up. Get to the bottom, turn around, where is the tail? has to be at the bottom. Now, if you'll remember that story, when you're moving up and down on trellis smocking or wave smocking, I promise you, it will be almost impossible for you to get smocking done incorrectly because you'll think about Martha's crazy cat in the courthouse and the cat named Tabby. <laughs> 